Listen, I'm realizing that 10 year old me really could have used a shitty or a Riri Williams. I feel like this is why it's not only important to show women of color, black women, but also different types of black women. Guys, before all this, I was a STEM girly. I had scholarship offers from MIT and Embry-Riddle. I went to the Air Force Academy intending to be an engineer. I just decided I liked being a theater kid better. <laughs> No, science and maths is not a girly thing to do. And then, like a lot of black girls, I struggled with wanting to grow my hair super long. And with my hair just being curly and textured. And as y'all know, we grew up with all these princesses with long flowing hair, most of them white. One of my favorite movies growing up was Princess Diaries. I think it was really damaging to me that part of her makeover was changing her curly hair to straight. Things like that solidified in my mind that I could never be beautiful. I was also bullied by a lot of kids and some grown-ups. I was kind of told that I, I wasn't really like a girl. I didn't present as ultra-feminine as I was supposed to. I was like, I feel like a girl. I know I'm a girl. Because I gravitated towards things that society deems masculine. A lot of masculine styles of dressing. I still do. The way that the people around me and society was just telling me throughout my childhood that the way I was being a girl was all wrong. Do you know how much I would have loved to see a black princess with natural hair or braids, shorter hair, who is a scientist and a superhero, doesn't dress ultra feminine as society would put it, black girl with cornrows in an Iron Man suit. I needed that so badly. I honestly think that watching this movie healed a part of me that I didn't know needed healing. I'm just glad that black girls like me will get to have that now.